countdown to the total solar eclipse is on. We are just over 16 days away from this once in a lifetime event. On Monday, April 8th, our region will experience it and you won't see it again in, in our area until 2079. And while Yonkers, New York will not be in the path of totality, it will experience 91% of the total eclipse. And the Hudson River Museum wants to help prepare you for the event. The museum is hosting an array of special programs leading up to it beginning today with Super Solar Eclipse Saturday. So joining us now to tell us more about it is retired NASA astronaut and Yonkers native Colonel Ron Guerin. Colonel, welcome. Thanks so much for being with us. This is exciting. First off, tell us what people can expect to see if they attend the Super Solar Eclipse Saturday. Well, good morning. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna take a journey through space and back uh, here at the amazing Hudson River Museum. Uh, of course, everybody's gonna have to use their their imagination a little bit, but um, this is an opportunity for us to to kind of zoom out, right? To zoom out and to see the bigger picture, to see this uh, this cosmic dance that takes place every moment of every day. And uh, it you know eclipses are opportunities for us to to, to really take notice of that. You know, I've, I've listened, Colonel, to people describe this total eclipse who do this for a living, whether it's uh, researchers or folks like yourself who've been into space. What is it about what we're expecting to see that is so special and that can teach people and mean so much to so many people? Yeah, I mean, it's undeniable evidence that we're part of this cosmic dance that, the, you know, the planets are swirling around and we're trapped. It's it's undeniable evidence that each and every one of us is riding through the universe together on this spaceship that we call Earth, that we're all in space right now uh, together. And what's so special about an eclipse is that they're rare, right? And so every, every day, actually twice a day, we have amazing cosmological events that, that occur. There's a sunset and a sunrise every, every day, uh, but somehow we've been conditioned to take those amazing things for granted, right? And, you know, a sunset or a sunrise is no less compelling, uh, no less beautiful th than an eclipse, uh, but they're not rare. And so we, we tend to ignore them. But in an eclipse, because they're so rare uh, and beautiful, um, it's something that, that we, it's, it's hard for us to ignore, right? And so we should take advantage of it and we should enjoy it. How much are you looking forward to this, Colonel? I'm looking forward to it a great deal. I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. This is, you know, it's always great to come home. I grew up in Yonkers, so it's, it's great to, to see everybody. I'm really looking forward to that. And in a couple of weeks, I'll be in the path of totality for the eclipse. So I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to that as well. Well, lucky you. I, I, let's talk about space a little bit and your experience. You described the journey back into Earth's atmosphere uh, after your time at the International Space Station is like going over Niagara Falls in a barrel that's on fire, followed by a high speed crash. <laughs> when you train for something your entire life, Colonel, and then you experience it, what were those feelings and emotions like? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I mean, obviously, it's a fulfillment of a lifelong dream. It was a dream that started on July 20th, 1969, right here in Yonkers, New York, where I witnessed those first footsteps on the moon, and I realized on that day that I wanted to be an astronaut. And I, I you know, four decades later, that dream came true as I launched into space for the first time on uh, on space shuttle Discovery. Um, and so it's this recognition that you know all the hard work, all the de dedication, all the sacrifices have paid off. But it's also a recognition that you're part of something much, much bigger than yourself, right? You know, like on a space mission, it's not just one astronaut. It's a, it's a whole crew of astronauts, and there's thousands and thousands of people all around the world that are involved in those space missions, right? And so it's being part of that amazing team of, you know, comp comprised of dedicated folks who are, who are, are also making sacrifices for for the greater good and so it's a it's a it's a feeling of belonging it's a feeling of accomplishment it's a feeling of excitement um and it's all those things rolled into one it's, it's it's pretty amazing and colonel before we let you go i know you're having events there today but if people can't make it today there are some others at the museum before the eclipse right I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I, so sorry. I know, Colonel, you're having some events today at the museum, but mm -hmm. if folks can't make it today, uh, there are some other events, right? That's right. And please, I encourage everybody to, to go to the Hudson River Museum website. Uh, and uh, I'm, there's, there's quite a few things. And, and the team here has done a, a wonderful job preparing everybody for this uh, celestial event.
Well, Colonel, we can't thank you enough for your time. Thanks for joining us. Have a great time in your home of Yonkers and uh, enjoy the event. Super Solar Eclipse Saturday starting in just a few minutes at the Hudson River Museum in Yonkers. And tickets can be purchased online or at the museum. We'll be right back. Stay with us.